Hey, welcome to the road show everyone. Welcome to the new ones and welcome back to the repeat offenders. This is part two in Meet the Great Walk series. So if this is not your bag, go and have a look at some of my other stuff because this is something slightly different. It's about a group I really love and we're going on a bit of a journey together over a series of several videos. Here we are. We're discussing the day's activities, doing the plans and of course Every other detail that comes up has to be discussed before we go. I've never been before. Oh! What is a dryandra? It's a plant, is it? Yeah. Uh, a tree. I don't know if dryandra as a name exists anymore botanically, because they've shifted most dryandras into banksia, which means nothing to anyone who doesn't botanise. This is the Great Walk bus. We've had one since uh, ooh, 10 years ago we went to Uluru. We ended up buying our own bus and we've had one ever since. Yep, we've had the bus for 10 years and we do have a bit of a love-hate relationship with it. They're expensive pets if you don't use them a lot, I must admit. Cleaning off our boots before we head off, we don't want to spread dye back. Doing our best, aren't we, Mark? We're doing our best. We've brushed them out and we've methoed them down. And... <laughs> yep, fair enough said. Did I tell you there's no drinking and no drugging on the Great Walks? Uh-oh, what's wrong with the bus? It's gone into limp mode, so we need to find out what's wrong. We've got it in at the mechanics. So all the gang, we've all been tipped out of the bus and we're going over in search of a coffee shop. After boosting the local economy in this little rural town, we all met at the designated pickup point. Who's this pile of ruffians? <laughs> hey, look what's coming. Ta -da! Unfortunately, the bus could not be repaired straight away. So we pushed on and here we are at the Dryandra Forest. Thankfully, our wonderful driver Ibis has got us down here in safely. In limp mode. In limp mode. Thank you very much, Ibis. Members of the Great Walk acknowledge and respect the traditional owners and their amazing cultures. This is the Ochre Walk Trail down to the Ochre Pits. This is the indigenous area. Um, where the Aboriginal people used to get their ochre from. If you watch Rona's Roadshow, go and have a look at the interview with Selena about how we should travel through country. And she talks about this. Okay, we're just regrouping and we're off to do the walk. All right. There's lots of excellent signage around here. Powdery one do. So you could paint your face with it. Look at her. Isn't she looking gorgeous? So it's called Powder Bark Wandu. Wow, you can see it. Amazing. We are all really keenly interested in the local flora and fauna. Although I must admit, some are more skilled than others. So oh. Katrine, you don't know what they are either? Blue Lesionolt, yeah. Blue no, Lesionolt. They're not. They're not? No, not Oh, Lesionolt, no, yeah. this is a trick question. <laughs> now I've gone down in the annals of the great walkers. Being but, a bum, what, what is it you call it? What, what, what is it called? Botanist? Bum, bot a bum botanist? <laughs> now, here's Mr. Mark. He is a wildflower wizard. Well, is this the she oaks? That's a uh, it's female. A type, yeah, that's Alocasirina humilis, I believe it is. Okay, it's a type of she oak. We're out of my country here, so yep. it's a type of she oak. And what's this one then? Do you know? Uh, this is a Petrophile, and you can tell Petrophiles from Isopogons, both yep. of which are in the Proteaceae family. See the little cone? Yes. It's like a pine cone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it persists. So further down the stem, you'll see there's older cones. Yes. Whereas if it was an isopogon, which can look very similar in flower, that has a feathery type of cone that then drops falls off. apart and drops off. So okay. Hmm. There's going to be a test later, so I hope you guys have got all that. Guess what? Spotted some quandongs. Not quite right. Yeah, it's pretty it's not quite right by the yet. No. Not close. October's their month. Right. There's so much beautiful country and flowers down here. I'm not going to show you them all. Jump in your car and get down here and have a look at it. Meanwhile, Vera and I are checking out a genuine 
Aussie battler, the, this mound of sticks and plants and sand, is the center of the male mallyfowl's world for 10 months of the year. Okay. So the Can you see it and where it's dug out in the middle? So it's quite a drop here into a valley. We're walking along a kind of a ridge. We're just going to wait for the others. We've got a beautiful view here of the valley. They've been recycling plants and material for over 200 million years. Termites, fantastic. I fell in love with them when I was tour guiding. Love them. Amazing social insects. Yes, I know some of them eat wood. Only three species out of the 3,000. What can I say? Just unlucky that the three species live near your house. Steep and slippery trial risk. So we're going down here. So put some steps in for us, which is good. Yep, we like that. Thank you, whoever's done it. And what she's done is found a bearded orchid. That was Thora. She's the orchid whisperer. Meanwhile, what have we got here? Ah, the ochre pit. It's in the soil. So Basil's just having a go to see if he can find a little bit of ochre. Here we go. Yes. It really mm. is ochre. Yeah, very nice. Mix that with a bit of blood and it'll last forever. The verticordia all through here, that's a white plant. Isn't that lovely? Here's Thora again. Did I tell you she's a top gun bird watcher as well? There's a lot of birds in this area, why? Because there's a, an um, overlap of um, distribution, geographic distribution between the arid zone and the wetter zone. Mm -hmm. So you might get um, like cuckoos, a couple of different species of cuckoos, horsefields and shining bronze that usually don't occur in the same uh, area, overlapping a bit. Right. That's it. So having lunch before we set off for the second walk, which is another five kilometres. Right, we're leaving the bus, they're picking us up later. So, got the signage here of Dryandra Woodland. Good signage. Pick one, only that genus at least. Yeah, so it's a hike here. It's nice. Gorgeous. And that jam tree, is this one through here? Yeah. That one there. Yeah. So, oh, look who it is. That filthy sleaze bag who's in jail. Timey kangaroo down. <laughs> it's a wonder they've still got him there. Yeah. Be great to get rid of that guy's picture, wouldn't it? Okay, we drive back to camp. Usual rundown. Meal was cooked, beautiful. Sat around the campfire, beautiful. Cups of tea, yarns. Solved the problems of the earth before we went to our tents and bunkered down for the night. All in the circle together. Had a bit of yoga this morning. A bit of yoga. Circle circle or yoga? Coffee yoga. Yoga. We're just doing movements while we're waiting. Yeah. We are waiting. <coughs> Sometimes I must admit we don't take morning yoga as seriously as we should. It's not all it's not all coffee yoga at all. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Let's get on this bus for another day's excitement. When will this bliss end? I wonder. We're going for a walk around Lake. What is it, Joe? Tulabin. Tulabin, and this one has been uh, had a lot of regeneration activity. It's the last freshwater lake around here, and they're trying to save it. Um, that's where the visitor centre is, or the car park. So that's about four or five k's. Which direction is that one? This walk proved a bit more challenging. So we've made our way through quite a bit of marshland, haven't we, Joe? How'd you go with that dubbin? Did it do the trick? <laughs> Basil's our walk coordinator and he's a dab hand on rehabilitation initiatives throughout the area. This is one of the arms. It follows the series of lakes that we've been walking up. Yeah, yeah. So they're blocking this out, trying uh, to prevent salt coming that way. Coming from the farmland. Coming from the farmland. Ah. Just from the catch, the upland slopes. Ah. Some of the intercepts, some of the shallow groundwater. 
mm -hmm. and divert it into Lake Tal Talabrum because you can see that it's gone mm -hmm. salty yep. and then um, to allow fresh water to divert straight into the lake. Uh, what have we got here? We have a goanna, blue tongued lizard. Okay, point me to lizard. it. A yeah. small one. There it is, we don't want to disturb it. There it is hiding from us. Disturb him, he opens his mouth with a blue mouth with a red tongue. That's right. Wally will now demonstrate now. <laughs> Here comes Mary Ann. Needed binoculars for the white faced heron. <laughs> Hmm? Looks like morning tea. Oh, it's a it's a mud stop. We're going back around the edge of the lake. Oh, let's have a look. And then we take. There's a little bit of infrastructure. We're walking along the embankment, but not quite sure what this is. Management access only. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just get the mud off my feet. They're walking along the top there. I'm walking down the bottom of the drain that was built. Just look at the erosion. We found the source of the sucking noise. Isn't the Loch Dolben monster? So it looks like an air hose, doesn't it, Joe? Yeah. So. It like a blow. Yeah, it does. I agree. So. We don't know whether it's some sort of mechanism to oxygenate it or what. Hey, Basil! This system is working, the regeneration, because the she-oaks here, there's the young ones, there's the more mature ones. It's a really good sign that those... Superb. And um, it's kind of a complex thing how they generate. So there they all are. We're walking along the top of the diversion wall here, which is a kind of a levee bank. Here comes Angela. Walking in at the end of the rock and look at, at the walk and look at the sign. <laughs> <laughs> Typical great walk. <laughs> Is that where we walked over? Crossed? Yeah, I think so. That's where we crossed. Anyway, Tilburn Lake is the freshwater lake and the salt affected one is Tarblin Lake. Hmm, there's so much work being done here. Some beautiful interpretive um, signage and information. It's well worth having a look here. Saving the animals and saving the plants. And they give you a bit of a spiel on the remedies to alter, um, to treat the altered hydrology. So Got to take your hat off to all the people who have worked so hard to rehabilitate and repair this land and these lakes. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it to all you men and women. We're just having a bit of lunch. There's mozzies everywhere. We're fighting them off, aren't we, Walter? I suppose it's lunch for them as well. What do you reckon? Yeah, they're pretty strong. Yeah. After lunch, what do we do? More adventures. We've just stopped here at Tullaban Nature Reserve. We're just having a look. Apparently, this is a orchid haven. Oh, beautiful. There's another double one. Next stop, Millie Minning Rock, 48 metres high, 86 hectare reserve. So here's the rock, they're all heading up. Me too, apparently there's caves here on the other side. Katrin, uh, we're on top of the rock, what do you we think? We are on top of the rock, we've got a magnificent view after we've had a magnificent day and life is good. Great to be on the Great Walk. It is indeed. I'm just doing a bit of a scan to show you what Katrin's on about. This beautiful view. <laughs> yes, lovely view. We've come right over the other side of this rock looking for the caves that we thought Joseph knew where they were and he's come back and said he doesn't know, he can't remember. Damn, he thinks it might have been another rock now. Meanwhile, here's one for Mr. Ian. Look what this rock is covered in. Freesias. Ian is my housemate and he absolutely adores freesias. Even though they are a weed in Western Australia, yes, we know that, but they are beautiful, I must admit. Okay, back to camp. We're just having the ordinary general meeting, so the gang's all yes, yeah. getting together. 
It's a bit cold. In the office. No, it's an ordinary general meeting, my apologies. So here we are in the Great Walk office. Dinner's happening. There's Tony on the dishes. Katrine stirring the... Custard. Custard. Woo. Lovely custard. Yeah. Oh, I'm such a good help. Yes, you are, Mr. Jackson. Yeah, you've done very well. We share all the jobs. The cooking, the cleaning, the packing, the unpacking, the driving. One thing I really love is that fabulous fire built by the boys. Joseph and Jackson. Look at that. Here's the Brat Pack and Marianne. They're playing cards. Last night they were killing us with their riddles. I went to bed, I was so distressed I couldn't get the answers. And so ends another day on the Great Walk. Beautiful. I've seen such beautiful flowers, country, rehabilitation initiatives that were inspiring. It's been wonderful. Why don't you join us on the next video where we're going to pull camp and relocate to the next part of the country to do more exploring of the land. We'd love to have you along. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. Put your comments below. Love to hear from you. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe here. That'd be great. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye from Rona's Roadshow. Oh, <laughs>